I'm gonna show you how to test your microwave transformer using a, a multimeter. Um, before we start, if you tip it on its side, you can see there's a smaller wire and then a larger wire. Lower gauge wire, which is thicker, um, is gonna have two terminals coming off of it. That's your primary, and then this is your secondary. So to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our multimeter to 200 ohms. We're gonna turn that on, and then we're gonna touch these two terminals. So we should get a reading somewhere around one. And I'm getting a reading of 1.2. So that's good. Um, from there, what we need to do is we need to test to make sure that there's not a short from here to the frame. And I'm gonna turn this up to 2000 mega ohms, 2000. And then what I'm gonna do is I need to find a spot on here where there's bare metal so that I can test this to see if it's actually coming up. So I'm gonna find two spots on here that I think the metal is showing on. And here we go, This there's a, a weld right here. So now what I'm gonna do wait until that zeroes out, and I'm gonna to touch that to this terminal, and I'm getting no reading, and then same thing here. So nothing's happened. So this is not, that primary is not shorting out to the main block there. Next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna see, on this one on the other side, you're gonna see there's a winding in between. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test that in exactly the same way. So I'm gonna set this to 200, and connect these leads to these terminals. And I am getting a reading of about one as well. So that's good as well. So now I'm gonna test these to the main block here. And again, I gotta make sure that I'm finding a spot. I'm gonna turn that up to 2000. And so I want this a lot more sensitive. And I found a spot here, which I'm just going back to that weld. There we go. So I found a spot here, so I'm getting a reading. Um, so now I'm gonna test these. I should get no reading here, so I'm gonna go from each terminal. See them. So I'm gonna test these, and nothing. And then I'm gonna test the other one, and nothing. So this one is not shorting out there. So the last thing that I'm gonna do So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this back to the 200 ohm range. And we have our high voltage wire, which as you can see, it's coming out of this, directly out of the winding. Uh, so you'll find one, sometimes they have, such as this one, that you might have just a terminal coming right out of the winding. This one that I have right here for you, this one actually has a wire coming out. So we're gonna test that. And so I'm gonna connect this to this terminal. And then I need to find a spot again on this block and I should get a reading somewhere around 80, 85 to 120. So I'm gonna touch here and I'm getting about 86, almost 87. So this is a working transformer. It's been tested and it's good to go. And this is how you test a microwave transformer using your multimeter. Please feel free to check out one of my other videos on testing microwave door latch switches, otherwise known as micro switches, capacitors, or how to change your microwave door handle. Thank you for watching.